Well, it was one of the best and the earliest views of the Great American Eclipse. An invitation-only flight on Alaska Airlines allowed dozens of enthusiasts to witness this event above the clouds 15 minutes before it hit the mainland. Yes, CBS News reporter Danielle Nottingham was on board that flight over the Pacific Ocean. At 40,000 feet, it was a view like no other. Final alignment maneuver. NASA astronaut Dr. Michael Barrett was one of the lucky eclipse chasers with a seat next to the sun. It's just, it's amazing. Barrett and a plane full of scientists and eclipse enthusiasts flew some 900 miles west of Portland, Oregon, over the Pacific Ocean to intercept the path of the eclipse at the precise moment of totality. This is very Star Wars ish, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, this is like a, a tactical space mission. Look at the, sh the elliptical shadow. Joe Rayo has been chasing the moon's shadow for for decades. This was his 12th eclipse. It never gets old. You never see these colors. You never see this dramatic change in the skylight. Planes can't keep up with the speed of the moon's shadow to follow the complete path of the eclipse, but this flight delivered a minute and 43 seconds of totality for everyone on board. Jasmine Shepard and her brother Joseph won a contest to snag two seats. What did you think of totality? Um, breathtaking, I'm at a loss for words. How does this compare to space? You know, both are singular experiences. Both are spectacular. They're different, um, but they, they make you think about your surroundings. Your surroundings are a lot bigger than your planet, and this is a good reminder of that. And these passengers are celebrating a spectacular view of a once-in-a-lifetime celestial show. Danielle Nottingham at CBS News. That is really neat. So mm -hmm. you may want to just hold on to those eclipse glasses. It's a good call because our next eclipse is just seven years away. The path of that one will bring it from Mexico through the nation's heartland, passing north of Philadelphia through New England and then off the coast of Newfoundland. And while we won't get a total eclipse, uh, the sun will be about 85% covered by the sun.